persecution has proved the guilt of each of the accused beyond reasonable doubt. And all the accused have failed to establish their defense of Alimai. Wherefore, this court hereby finds all the principal accused guilty beyond reasonable doubt of the crime of rape with homicide and hereby sentences each of them to suffer the penalty of reclusion perpetua. Hubert Webb is the son of a former senator, convicted of rape with a homicide in one of the most gruesome murders in Philippine history. Three members of the Visconde family were found brutally murdered. Sa report, ilang beses at nirape yung dalagang anak sa master's bedroom. Police baffled as there are no signs of a break-in. Did you witness the rape or the killing? Yes, the rape. Yes, a statement mo sino ang nagparticipate sa rape at sa stabbing incident sa loob. Diyan sa statement mo. Um, Hubert and funny boy. Pero alam ko na ho mangyari. Alam nyo na. Kasi nakita namin yung takbo eh. Doon parang buong araw yung nag-aantay ka doon. Hmm. Alam na naman namin yung guilty. So, Inaantay ko na lang yun eh. But 15 years after his detention, the court and bank in a vote of 7-4 has acquitted Hubert Jeffrey P. Webb. How did Hubert Webb end up being the fall guy? And if Hubert is innocent, who then killed the Viscondes? On June 13, 1991, the Philippines was shaken by news of a gruesome murder. Three members of the Visconde family were found brutally murdered. Police baffled as there are no signs of a break-in. Authorities immediately began their investigation. But with no evidence and no witnesses, the crime seemed impossible to solve. But four years later, a supposed eyewitness came forward. The FBI star witness, Jessica. Carmelo opened the door for us, for me, of course, and then entered the three hotel. Jessica Alfaro, a 31-year-old single mother and car dealer. Jessica volunteered her services as an informer at the NBI. She tipped the police on several illegal drug operations. After a few successful tip-offs, both Jessica and the NBI gained each other's confidence. It did not take long before she finally came out with her story. She told her the details of how the crime was committed. She was confused because it was consistent. It was not going to change. And she had no purpose. She said, sir, thank you for I met you. Something like that na I can at least now confide a secret which I had been carrying for almost four years. Did you witness the rape? Or the killing? Yes, the rape. Just a statement, Mr. Sino, ang participate sa rape at saka sa stabbing incident sa loob. Just a statement. Um, Hubert and... Funny boy. The alleged mastermind was Hubert Webb, the 22-year-old son of then-Senator Freddie Webb. But Hubert had a credible alibi. Noong June 30, ho. Nasa anahin na ako po ako Kasama ko pa ako daddy ko noong 28, 29, 30, yung, yung linggo na yun doon. Nagulat din kami, biglang may lumabas na sinasabi na si Hubert daw ang uh, may kagagawan nito. And uh, after that, the nightmare started. December 1991, kalat na ang chismis na isa sa anak ng senador ang may kinalaman sa Visconde Massacre. Pinatulan ng NBI ang balitang ito at pinuntahan ang bahay ng mga web. Pinupihano kami. They took our fingerprints. Kaming dalawa. Medyo shock kami. Kasi parang, what? Oh, so, we decided, oh, sige, mag, ano tayo, let's cooperate. Kasi sabi nila, they lifted some prints daw from some light bulb. Sure naman kami na hindi kami gumawa nun. So, sige, okay. Nag-usisa pa raw ang NBI sa kanila. Meron pa ba kayong ibang mga kapatid? Sinabi namin, meron si Hubert at saka si Mike. And nasan sila? O, oh, nasa States. Yung isa, yung isa, nasa Japan. Okay. So, uh, during, that, during that time, what happened was, sinek na nila yung alibay ni Hubert. Si NBI Director Epimaco Velasco, ang nagpadala ng mga agent sa bahay ni Senador Webb para mag-imbestiga. Si Webb, kaya lumutang naman yan sapagat si Webb noon, 
e balita na gumagamit ng droga. Ng droga. Kasi ang isang tao naman kung bigalit kay sa ganun pagpatay eh isa dalawa sa sakla mo siguro ay tama na. Uh -huh. Pero yung ginawa ng yun talaga kung hindi ka nasa ilalim ng kapangyarihan ng masamang na pinagbabawal na gamot, hindi mo magagawa yun. Taga BF Homes din si Velasco, kaya nakapagtanong-tanong at mabilis siyang makasagap ng impormasyon. Nagtanong ako doon sa kapitbahay eh, kung nakita si Hubert Webb dyan sa lugar na yan, even earlier or during the precise time na mangyari ang uh, patayan. Wala namang makapagsabi. First of all, I would like to apologize to the director. But from the moment Alfaro appeared on the scene, the whole nation was willing to believe what she had to say. Ang masasabi ko tungkol kay Jessica Alfaro, mukha namang nagsasabi ng tutuo. Hindi niya para itayaan yung buhay niya doon sa kung hindi totoo talaga yung sinasabi niya. Hanga ako sa katapangan niya kasi kahit malalaking tao yung nakakabangga niya, hinaharap niya. Kasama siya sa krimin siguro na yun. Hindi naman basta-basta siguro maglantad siya kung, kung hindi siya nagsasabi ng totoo. Do you think that there's actually a strong case of trial by publicity? Yes. Yes. I think uh, the trial by publicity in the web case is so strong that it has become unfair to the accused. Chato Olivas Gallo is a trial lawyer. You know, the reason I'm saying this is even before the case was filed in court, uh, people have been discussing it because of what comes out in the papers and people have been asking me, do you think Webb will be sent to jail, will be convicted? That was even before the case was filed with the fiscal's office and I said, wait, wala pang kaso eh. Sinabi ko, please bring us to court. Ayoko nang ang kalabang ko ay nasa dilim. Uh, Mr. Hubert Webb is here, Your Honor. A million dollar question. Could Hubert prove he was abroad on the night of the murder? Do you swear to the truth of all the allegations in this counter affidavit? The National Bureau of Investigation contacted the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation to verify Hubert's alibi. And so at that time, I sent a communication off to our offices in the U.S., San Francisco, and verified the fact from U.S. immigration records, from U.S. custom records, from the California Driver's License Bureau, all verifying that uh, Hubert Webb had been in the U.S. during that time period. Despite all that, authorities filed a case against Hubert. Now, Jessica, if you want to say something? On account of Jessica's testimony. Well, follow-up of her statement turned out to be positive in so many ways. Yung itinuro niya sa akin na bahay na nag-den sila, wala na sa record yun. And with this, I think this is one of our most solid evidence to prove that my son was there. During the trial, the Webb family presented plane tickets, home videos, and eyewitness accounts to prove Hubert's innocence. They also obtained certification from U.S. Immigration and the U.S. State Department. But it was a futile effort. The rules and evidence require that somebody should testify on those documents. Depending, basta magpresenta ka ng dokumento rin. And they know that. Ang sinasabi ko sa kanila, yung mga presenta nilang dokumento, hindi naman nagtestify ang Amerikano. It seem very unusual that documentation from the U.S. government, which had been certified and authenticated by the U.S. Secretary of State with the full documentation from one U.S. government agency, the U.S. Secretary of State, to the Philippines Secretary of Foreign Affairs, that would not be accepted. Uh, if I recall, I believe the judge indicated, well, the Secretary of State is not here in person, so we cannot allow this information. The Webb family asked the FBI legal team to testify in court but the U.S. government said no. Most government uh, policy is that diplomats are not allowed to testify in local courts. And in this particular case, here we were being requested by the Philippine government to conduct investigation, but yet it was the defense that is requesting us to testify. So the U.S. government, I guess, at the Washington level and then to the ambassador indicated that you know, I wouldn't be allowed to testify. I had no doubt, based upon the information we had developed, that he was in the U.S. at the time and I uh, place very little credence, if any, that he could be in the U.S., sneak back, commit a mass murder, and then sneak back into the U.S. It would, it would be impossible, I would, I would say. The principal accused guilty. Pero alam ko na kung mangyari. Alam yun na. Kasi nakita namin yung takbo eh. Doon parang buong araw yung nag-aantay ka doon. 
Alam na naman namin yung guilty. So, inaanday ko na lang yun eh. Hubert and his co-accused spent the next 10 years in jail, hoping for a reversal from the highest court of the land. The court and bank has acquitted Hubert Jeffrey P. Webb, Antonio Lejano. Sir! Six years after Hubert's acquittal, the bereaved father, Laura Visconde, passed away. Jessica Alfaro left the Philippines, and Gerardo Biong, who was convicted of being an accessory to the crime, was released in 2010. It's been 30 years since the Visconde massacre, yet the media circus and the lengthy trial failed to turn up any answers as to who killed the Viscondes. The problem was in the Visconde case ay yung una palang pag-investiga ng crime scene. Malaki pa rin yung pagkukulang natin pagdating sa scientific investigation. Kung may pagkukulang yung protocol ng police at yung law enforcers sa pag-handle sa media. Isipin nyo kung itong high-profile case ay umabot sa more or less around 15 years ang paglilitis niya bago siya inatapos. He was initially convicted but inabsuelto din siya ng Korte Suprema. Parang nagiging quality ng ating justice system ay sobrang pagkabagal niya. That is why it has become a perennial problem, yung issue ng delay. At sana naman ito ay bigyan pansin ng ating mga leader para naman sa susunod na mga henerasyon ay hindi na ganitong katagal ang kaso sa atin.